It's time for Tales. I'm Miss Corinne and I have a fun, exciting adventure for you today. I am going to be telling you the story of The Paper Bag Princess, the classic book written by Robert Munch with pictures by Michael Marchenko. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Elizabeth. She lived in a beautiful castle. She wore only the finest royal garments, and she was engaged to be married to a handsome prince named Prince Ronald. One day, a dragon came to the kingdom. With his fiery breath, he burned everything outside the castle, and he burned everything inside the castle. The dragon was gone, and so was Prince Ronald. He had carried Prince Ronald off, and he had also burned everything in the castle and all of Elizabeth's royal clothes, and she didn't have anything to wear. Oh no, what can I, can I wear? That? No, I can't wear that. Can I wear, can I wear that? No, no. Let's see, let's see. The only thing Princess Elizabeth could find to wear was a paper bag from the kitchen. It smells like onions. Ew. I can't believe that that mean old dragon came and burned up all of my nice things and he carried off my betrothed Prince Ronald. I am gonna do something about this. So Princess Elizabeth set off to find the dragon's lair. She walked all day. And she walked all night, and she walked all day, and she came across the dragon's cave. She marched right up to it in her paper bag with ashes and dirt smeared all over in her hair going every which way, and she knocked on the door. Dragon! The dragon came out. today, but princesses are pretty yummy, but nope, I'm full. I, I didn't come here to be eaten. I, I, I came here to find out if it's true that you can burn down five forests with a single breath. Of course I can, the dragon rumbled, and he burned down ten forests with a single breath. Well, that's very impressive, but I bet you can't burn down fifty forests with a single breath. Of course I can, said the dragon, and he burned down a hundred forests with a single breath. Can you, um, can you burn down two hundred? Oh, yeah. <coughs> I think I'm out of fire. Oh, okay. Well, is it true that you can fly around the world so fast that you can do it in 10 seconds? Of course I can. I'll show you. And the dragon took off and Elizabeth counted. Wow, that really was fast. The dragon had done it. <sighs> he was panting. But Elizabeth asked, Is it true that, you know, I, I don't think you can do it. What is it? I can do it. He said, I bet you can't fly around the world so fast that you do it in only five seconds. No, that's impossible. Of course I can do it. He roared and he took off and Elizabeth counted. And the dragon flapped back. I told you I could. <gasps> he collapsed in front of the cave. He was fast asleep. 
Elizabeth had worn the dragon completely out. Mr. Dragon? Yoo-hoo! Are you awake? Mr. Dragon! Mr. Dragon! <sighs> he slept on. So Elizabeth crept into the cave where she found Prince Ronald. <gasps> I'm so glad to see you, Prince Ronald. <gasps> oh, my word, Princess Elizabeth, are you wearing a paper bag? That's simply horrifying. It's unacceptable. But I had to come rescue you, Prince Ronald. And yeah, I mean, I'm dirty because there was, uh, yeah, I, I traveled a really long way and I didn't have time to go find clothes. I, I wanted to help you. I am a prince. I cannot be seen with someone in a paper bag. Come on now, Princess Elizabeth. That's just ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous, Prince Ronald? You are. You may be clean, and you may be wearing nice clothes, and you may be a handsome prince, but you are a bum, and I will never marry you. So Princess Elizabeth went on home. She rebuilt her castle, and she became known as the wisest ruler the kingdom had ever seen. The end. Thank you for coming to hear this story. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you at our next story time. Until then, I love you so. I'll see you guys next week.